peace quickly uh, think fast our spiritual awakening you know and what's going on right now could be compared to you know let's say you know we all little kids you know little children you know we playing house and doctor you know we playing around and, you know we you know we get together as kids we got all kind of you know uh roles we could play like oh i'm i'm the doctor you the robber i'm the cop you the teacher i'm the student you know what i'm saying like we could uh play these different roles and then you know it come that time almost just like uh right after i think about muppet babies like nanny <laughs> as a throwback uh the muppet babies cartoon but it's almost the exact analogy though uh when i think about it but uh you know we playing as little kids getting our little vibe on imagining we this imagine we that playing this role playing that role and then mama come in the room and like all right now nah, time to uh stop playing around put put that shit up uh you know <laughs> you know uh whether it curse or not but you know <laughs> Time to put that stuff up, you know, uh, and, you know, uh, stop playing and do something else. That's the same thing that's going on with the, uh, with the spiritual awakening. Like, it's basically like a source, you know, higher self. And I even say higher self, but just the whole energy, you know, on the collective coming down and telling all of us as little kids, like, hey, all right, uh, you know, it's time to stop playing. You know, the love. The, uh, the black person you are or the little white person you playing in this movie, the little Mexican, the little Asian you playing in this movie. You know, uh, time matter of fact, again, like our little kids. Like, all right, y'all, it's time to, time to, matter of fact, in essence, time to grow up. You know, all right, time to stop playing with them tall. Time to, you know, and, and don't, uh, get so deep into the parenting vibe of like, uh, because, you know, of course, uh, you don't want to cut off your imagination, but I'm speaking to this as an analogy of us being human. So when I talk about the kids playing and imagining things, I'm not trying to say that we're trying to stop our imagination. What I am saying is that, you know, uh, comparing it to being an egotistical human, where you're caught up in this role of like, I'm, I'm black, I'm white, I'm this, I'm that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, ah, bro, you playing, you playing a game and and mama or my man daddy says it's time to stop playing. You know? Time for us to graduate. Time for us to mature. Yeah. Time for us to get out the house. <laughs> you know, but that that's the whole vibe that I catch. And a lot of people, just like little kids, a lot of people not ready to put the toilet. Like, oh man, like bro, I was man, I was loving playing this this uh this this white oppressor. I was loving playing this traumatized black person I, I was loving playing this Asian person or this you know like I was love playing it and that's what some people at right now where they they don't want to stop playing the role they don't want to stop playing the game you know mom and daddy coming in the room telling us we gotta you know gotta stop playing you know here there's some people still want to Still want to play, you know, they can't detach. It's like, oh man, like uh, 10 more minutes. <laughs> After I had to buy that, a lot of people on, like, bro, just 10 more minutes, 15 more minutes. And that's what you're seeing out of some people, where some people just still trying to, you know, cling on to certain identities that I could see in their souls that they know they should drop. But, you know, it's just that, that stuff is stained in us so strong that, you know, you know, been, when you've been playing for a long time, you know, you get lost in it, you probably, you know, and start to thinking you that that doctor you're playing when you're playing doctor, that teacher, you know, you get you get lost in the thing. That's not to say now on a on a completely separate from this idea, just on the level of imagination. Nothing is wrong with our imagination, you know. Matter of fact, because our imagination from a from a soul perspective is what takes us out of our humanity more in essence, you know. But from this perspective of this analogy I'm speaking on, you know, it's like, uh, you know, the little kids playing the roles, you know, it's just like what's going on right now. Some people not ready to, uh, to stop playing in the movie or stop playing the role, you know, and to each his own, you know, we all on different parts of our growth and we all have different 
you know, levels of existence that's unique to our soul, you know. So it's not right or wrong that some people, you know, it's not a bad or good thing or right or wrong thing that sometimes kids don't want to, you know, like when you think about it, and as above, so below, like sometimes kids don't want to, you know, they want to continue playing, you know. I mean, I, just just like uh, on that level too, I see like ain't nothing wrong if you want to continue playing. That's up to you. But I know that with the you know the spiritual awakening, not to speaking to that fully, you know the spiritual awakening vibes. You know, it's about us shedding these labels and not not killing the ego, not getting rid of it to the extent where we just like oh we all act the same, talk the same, walk the same. Oh, I love you, I love you, like you know just. Nah, it's not like that. But what it what it is about is just uh you know just getting out of these roles and knowing that you are more than the roles you're playing, you know. And, and again, you start to see like the the, the real and, and that's the chess game of two. Well, like you know, especially being a melanated brethren, you know. Uh, you know, other melanated brothers, black people, you know what I'm saying? It's programmed in essence to see anybody talking about love and coming together is, are oh, you you uh, brainwashed by that white people stuff, this and that, you know what I'm saying? So that's the chess game of that vibe, where they knew that there were gonna be beings coming out, speaking on transcending your flesh. So how do you combat that? You create a little situation to confuse everybody. So you could have people against their own selves, you know, in essence, you know. Which, and to the main point too, that's why it's all about just inward work. You go inside yourself, we ain't trying to change nobody outside ourselves. We're trying to change ourselves. But, you know, that 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 whole vibe, you know, of like, uh, oh man, you, you know, you being too peaceful, you being, nah, that's a higher understanding. It gets to a point where, you know, you gotta graduate. And some people, uh, you know, don't want to graduate because it's a balance. Of course, you, you know, say fences. On my physical experience, you know, my my body suit is a melanated body suit. You know what I'm saying? I can't change that. You know, can't deny that. But I know that my existence is way more greater than this role I'm playing in this movie. You know, it's like Denzel trying to be the person from Training Day all the rest of his life. You know. Imagine Denzel walking around acting like the guy from training day all day all the time like right now I mean, you know It's not his true self. That's the role he was playing in a movie, you know, and he's trying to continue Continuously play that role, you know And that's what that trauma For the speaking to the melanated people the, the black people were that trauma of being through slavery or being duped or feeling like you're gonna get duped. Like, you know, that's what a lot of people worried about too, is like, you know, that's where the unconditional love and just the trust, and that's why it's about going inward, you know what I'm saying, first and foremost, because then you will have more trust or so you'll start to attract uh, somebody that doesn't look like you, that is more trustable or, feel, you know, or you feel their vibes better, you know? But as long as you got this idea that, oh, that's some white people shit, or that's, you know, a uh, white person way of thinking, or this, you know, gonna always be that, you know, that little, uh, that little chess game one up where they basically, you know, got us. And I say us, cause I'm not gonna worry. I don't care what nobody think, uh, like I'm gonna be me. You know what I'm saying? Like I realize that, uh, when, when you come in with some stuff that's ahead of time, you're gonna be unpopular when you first come. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? The type of stuff I'm talking about, that's why I do my video, my, my YouTube channel where I got it, where it's like a catalog. Cause I know that people not grasping this in the moment, like not everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like people gotta grow into this, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's there for people to grow into, but you know, just definitely, uh getting caught the download of that analogy where it's just some, again, and back to that trauma, you know, uh, you've been traumatized so hard, so you just feel like you're being duped by being nice. Cause here it is, you know, I'm being oppressed. You know, again, you're paying attention to it as an illusion. 
like outside of me you know they shot so and so they shot uh you know all the the the, the melanated brothers they shoot you know go inside yourself like we could only change this by changing our inner being you know what i'm saying like and that's what it work that's why it seems like it's work because it it is difficult to see things going on outside of you the whole world screaming about are oh, you a sellout if you think like that are you this and then you still have to grow into that place you know that is a difficult situation but it is what it is you know that's that's probably to the point of like being a brave soul like why they always talk of the analogy like it takes a brave soul you know like it takes a brave soul to be a Michael Jackson or a Tupac or just any outspoken being on this realm you know what I'm saying like and, and, and that's the the whole thing is uh just you know being being your true self being what resonates with you you know and for for some of us cuz I, I i am a firm believer in you know everything is meant so some people that's that's not gonna you know in essence quote unquote wake up they're meant to be that contrasting energy to wake somebody else up you know kind of like uh say for instance a racist person carry on and doing all that could be that contrast for a little kid to come across and when a little kid see that racist person is like i don't want to be that you know what i'm saying like so in essence even their racism serves a purpose of helping somebody grow you know so just like the again like uh going through the slavery to know how good freedom is you know going through the pressure to become the beautiful diamond you know it's all that and again no te and back to the little point too about like you know uh on the human experience yes right now because i definitely like when we dealing with our humanity part of our existence Yes, when you look around, the the melanated people are being uh, oppressed across the board. Matter of fact, and that's another thing too, what people don't get, like being so much of a soul spark. Even if I was, you know, that's another thing. Or, or should I say that's what uh, most people don't get in general too, like uh, or should I say uh, most white people in that sense? Well, too, you know, it's not about trying to, like be pro black or like overly black, like. But you look around, you're like, man, melanated people are being, you know, to the point where some white people riding for, for melanated people just as much as a melanated person riding for themselves in some cases. Shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, in this physical existence, that's the the situation at hand. But will I forget and be like, yeah, but I'm, so I'm black and I'm, I'm mel you know, like, of course, my body suit melanated and people, humans identify this melanin or uh, this bodysuit is a black person or whatever the case may be, but I'm not that. But again, on our human experience, yes, the situation at hand is, uh, you know, melanated people being oppressed and, uh, you know, dealing with making people, you know, basically just being uh, your unconditional loving self. It ain't like going out the way like you are being of unconditional love you see somebody getting oppressed, you want, you know, you got empathy, you, you don't want to, you rather see that person in a different light, you rather see them doing good and not, not getting shot by the police or not, you know what I'm saying? So that's just a, as a being, it don't matter if you're white, Asian, uh, you know, whatever, you know, you should see the situation and how the melanated people being treated on this earthly plane and be like, all right, damn, that ain't right, you know what I'm saying? You know, from again from a human aspect you know, like that that that's a uh, you know that's inhumane or that's that and 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 you see like for our English language and having a lack of a better word but to a certain extent like uh and I spoke to that before like the only quote unquote evil for lack of a better word would be uh something that's manipulating somebody else's free will you know so on that level but there's no good or evil because even with the oppressor, the race of the slavery, again, it's a, you know, it's that contrast, that resistance to make stronger, you know, to help us grow that pressure to make a diamond. But again, you know, uh, it's a balance because as, as much as I am uh, a vibration in the soul, you know, of a high vibration, 
I am also in a human body on a human experience here to take care of some human activities, you know, to a certain extent. But, you know, so yes, I'm going to resonate with my, uh, my body suit to a certain extent. I resonate with the situation that's going on on earth. But, and then back to the main point though, but it's also really like, we talk about doing like the outside work. So like say for instance, help feeding somebody or funding a certain uh, program or something like that. But honestly, like at the end of the day, point blank period, we save this world. So let this be the, this, I could for sure say this point blank period in order to truly and really say this world is about changing our insides, what's going on in our subconscious projects to the physical world. If we all start working on, on ourselves inward, we would change the way the fucking outside word, world look. You know, excuse my diction, but it's just that fucking simple. <laughs> it's that simple. But again, and that's where you start to see where like, all right, well, the people who still trying to hold you to this construct of like you going against somebody outside your body, you're gonna start to see that they trapping you more and more into this matrix, even though they may, have the title of being somebody conscious or trying to help you you know what i'm saying like if, if they if they keeping you into that construct of identification strongly then they they keeping you here you know that's why people be killing me with that agent vibe i'm like man anybody could be a you know and an agent not necessarily agent is just uh somebody you know being in that vibration that's trying to keep you you know uh in the physical matrix and your humanity fully, you know, without realizing the fullness of your existence. That's, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> oh, you know, but just, just remember that, you know, again, we create this world with our mind, with what's going on in our body. And it, although it may seem difficult, or it may seem like some turning the other cheek type of vibe to, to uh, you know, and of course we, we here physically, so it's going to inspire physical action. We're not just sitting here meditating and visualizing all the time, but it, it takes that, that, that inner work, you know, of, uh, of like, all right, I feel, I feel some kind of way about this person. Why do, you know, why do I feel some kind of way about this person? Let me go back. In, in childhood, did I ever get harmed by somebody that looks like this person? Or have, did my mom teach me? You know, and you go in there and you find out the source of the situation and you transmute that energy, you know? But it's, it's inner work, you know? The outer work just comes second to, you know, after doing the inner work, meditation, doing all that, then you get inspired to take action. You know, the, that, that part, uh, you know, come second to to the visualization part. But you visualize, uh, you know, the type of world you want to see. You don't sit around worrying about the one you in, cause then you create more of the bullshit that's going on right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta focus on the world you want to see. Not well, what Donald Trump's talking about putting up a wall and you know this brethren got shot the other day and. Uh, and Loving hip hop and it's like, and of course, there's a balance again. You know, uh, every now and then I like to look at a movie. Every now and then I like to look at. Matter of fact, shout out to Nori with Drink Drinking Champs. You know, every now and then I, I look at some human stuff, but it's to realize, you know, first and foremost, you know, what's really going on in the situation. You know. Once you kind of stay conscious and where, that, where your subconscious is just always plugged into the fact that you are a high vibration on a human experience. You are a source. You are a God on a human experience. You know, that's all, what, that's all it's about is getting your, uh, your energy tapped into that. Once you get tapped into it subconsciously, then honestly you could end up like, matter of fact, uh, <laughs> you know, like you could indulge in whatever like a uh, matter of fact shout out to uh <laughs> shout out to brother panic where he was like you know once you do the work or like you know he's like he's so sturdy in his work he was like he could go watch Medea at fucking uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, what's his name? <laughs> I forgot the British name. Uh, Tyler Perry. Like, I could sit down and watch a Madea move at Tyler Perry House and still, you know, stay connected. And, and that, and that's the whole vibe. You know, you want to create such a strong subconscious knowing and connection that you can, you know, still like, you know, vibe in your physical existence without having to micromanage and, you know, over police yourself at every moment, you know. You have just that steady flow in your existence of knowing like I'm more than all this stuff and matter of fact and this stuff is me. Everything around me, all these people I see all this is some aspect of myself. You know? And that's how you do the inner work as well. Like you you constantly attracting uh, a situation where you fussing with somebody about religion. Then then you you you're combating against yourself and in some way form or fashion you know i used to see that at the beginning of my growth when i started when i began to grow i used to attract all the christian people you know that want to uh and to a certain extent because for the most part i had so much information like that that's how real information was that although i still was in that combatant mode i wasn't attracting a lot of people because the information i got was really going like smash stuff so I would attract every now and then. It wouldn't even be the Christian. It'd be well, I mean Christian, but like those overly, you know, uh, evangelistic religions. You know, those type of people that you know, would come around me. But again, I was attracting that situation. So with me attracting, it's like, all right, I need to, you know, just deal with the aspect and love the fullness of my body. There's gonna be parts of my self or my existence that don't deal with the spirituality I deal with you know what I deal with and it is what it is you know unconditional love you know you deal with some other conditions but I still you know still love you no matter the condition but uh back to the point you know just of like seeing the the people in situations you manifest throughout your day give you an example of what's going on inside of you you know like, uh, I'm trying to think of another situation. But that's one, because that's one I, you know, for myself, was like going back and forth with information. Like I would, I would catch myself, but then whenever I'm balanced and I would be able to just laugh at the fact of that, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't attract nobody within the, a thousand feet of me that deals with that vibration, you know? Like I wouldn't even hear it on no ear hustling and stuff around me because I wasn't, I wasn't in that vibe of feeling against it, you know. But definitely, uh, you know, about the inner universe, the inner verse. Peace. Happen now. Now is the vibrate. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now. Matter of fact, and because my my higher self and, and balance with my human self has me doing this now to make sure you know I'm taking care of myself. So I'm uh, speaking up to take care of myself. So you know, uh, if you resonate with any of the information from this video or other videos on my channel, any and all donations would be greatly appreciated. Got the the. Uh, the link to my PayPal under mostly all of my videos and it's also at the top right corner. Like if you on the desktop, you know, they have a little icon, a little PayPal icon, but you could, the best way would just, mostly all of my videos got the little description with the PayPal link under it. Go under my uh, description by, uh, description under the video, you know, and get to it like that. But again, only if you resonate, no pity party, no, you know, just if you really feel the vibe of resonating with the information, then it's definitely a blessing. But any and all donations is greatly appreciated.